their work. Uh, we come to question number eight in the name of Tamara Livingston. Sorry. To the Minister of Education, how does the government plan to support improving skills in New Zealand Sign Language and Te Reo Māori? Uh, the Honourable Chris Hopkins. Kia ora. Uh, taking the second of those first, uh, in terms of Te Reo Māori, our focus is on training and recruiting more fluent Te Reo Māori speakers into teaching positions. Um, we have a range of work in there. We're also working to provide the opportunity for uh, teachers who are currently in the teaching workforce who can't speak Te Reo Māori. We're providing them with the opportunity to learn Te Reo Māori so that they can integrate it within their teaching. And we're also expanding the range of Māori immersion education opportunities that are available by, uh, for example, allowing further schools to designate their character um, so that they become full immersion schools uh, and we're providing significant property funding um, for those immersion schools that exist at the moment so that they can continue to expand. A similar range of initiatives are in place around uh, New Zealand Sign Language, a focus on recruiting uh, more people who can already uh, use sign language into the teaching profession and also providing an opportunity for those uh, who don't know sign language, who are currently teachers who want to learn it, uh, to be able to do so. We've also got funding uh, in place for a range of different partnership initiatives uh, to support uh, the use of New Zealand Sign Language in the home, for example, uh, including programmes like First Signs uh, and, uh, and so on. Um, supplementary question. Supplementary question. What targets, if any, do the government have uh, for the use of New Zealand Sign Language in Te Reo Māori in New Zealand society, and when do they... Uh, sorry. And when do they intend to be met? We certainly want to continue to grow the number of people who are able to converse in both languages. Um, in terms of Te Reo Māori, uh, we're working very hard to ensure that we significantly increase the number um, of students who are able, who leave our education system able to speak uh, fluently in Te Reo Māori. Um, unfortunately, I don't actually have the exact number off the top of my head, um, so members caught me out there and not having the number with me. Um, but we have, uh, but we have been making good progress towards that. We don't have a specific target with regard to New Zealand Sign Language, though. Uh, further supplementary. Supplementary question. Has the government engaged directly with members of the deaf and Māori communities while developing their plans, and if so, to what extent? Uh, yes, absolutely. I think it's critically important that we engage with, uh, with all of the communities whose decisions we make in education uh, they have an impact on. And so uh, in terms of our, our strategies in place in both sectors, um, they've been widely consulted on. Uh, members, we come to question number nine in the name of Lillianne Twiller. Uh, 